Welcome, Mr. Luca Baglione. Thank you for your time and thank you for sitting with us in your busy schedule. Um, thank you for this interview and this lovely day that we had today. Um, it was great to see the company of Scribo from the inside and see what is happening here in Bologna. Um, before we start this interview, we always do the pen check. So, which pen do you carry with you today? Thank you. Uh, at the beginning, I mean, thank you also for reaching us here in Bologna. And, uh, well, the pen check. Uh, now I'm having here with me uh, a brand new feel that is going to be released in these days. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's a new color inspired by the color of autumn leaves mm -hmm. here in Italy. And, uh, well, here is. It looks really nice. Beautiful. Especially with the orange sparkles. Yeah, it's a combination. Yeah. It's yeah. a combination. I like it. Good. Um, can you tell us, Scribo is not a company that is that old, but it has quite a large history. Can you tell us a little bit more about the Scribo history and where the name Scribo comes from? All right. Well, what I normally used to say is that we are a very young company with a long history behind. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we are all former OMAS employees and uh, there is where we learn how to make fountain pens. And uh, Scribo was made, uh, and the idea of Scribo ca came out the, 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 the following day after the OMAS closure. Scribo literally means scrittura bolognese and uh, we thought that this name to explain where we come from and what we want to do. We want in a way keep on um, bringing up the flag of Bologna in, the, in this industry, in the industry of writing instruments and more specifically on fountain pens. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the, the, the OMAS brand and the Scribo brand are uh, connected to each other for forever. Uh, how are they uh, similar to each other, but more importantly, how are they different to each other? Well, they are linked, of course, by the people. Mm -hmm. Is the first link that I can mention is the people, and I think I, I trust in people. Mm -hmm. uh, I, the I people think, that work for Scribo. Yeah, people yeah. that work here uh, together with me. Uh, this is the more strong link I think I can talk about between Hamas and Scribo. Mm -hmm. As I said, we, we, we learn how to make fountain pens during our experience at Hamas. In my case, it was so, more than 10 years. In other cases, it was even, even more. Mm -hmm. And uh, beside people, the, 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 the most important issue that we want to bring over here at Scribo is the writing performance. Mm -hmm. uh, when we decided to start over with Scribo, we decided since the beginning to concentrate our work only around fountain pens. So we tried to cut what were kind of uh, writing instruments where we cannot put our uh, DNA. Can I mm -hmm. use these words? Yes, yes. Uh, with fountain pen, we can add something, we mm -hmm. can bring something, we can bring some content, and we, we invest a lot mm -hmm. in um, purchasing the OMAS tooling for making nibs. Mm -hmm. And we want to give the same writing experience that people used to appreciate with OMAS fountain pens. Mm -hmm. So people and writing experience is the, the, the points that we share. Then uh, I think we are trying to, to, to move forward. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, it's complicated to talk about OMAS. It's, yeah. It was a significant part of our life, but uh, we have to leave OMAS with its greatness on our mm -hmm. back and move forward. Mm -hmm. we, we are not the heirs of OMAS. We do not pretend to, to keep on the heritage of OMAS. We just mm -hmm. pretend to write a new story. Mm -hmm. we, what we learn there, bringing something new in the market, some new shapes, some new ideas, some new way to uh, characterize our fountain pen. And through the years, we have introduced something interesting like the screwing system for the nib, even if mm -hmm. applied on a pen with a piston filling. And we are working to increase 
our knee range with new sizes, mm. uh, something different than uh, what uh, than the knee range that we carry on mm. with Oman. So we will try to do something more. We hope will be it will be good enough for 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 the market. I think you do a great job. No, thank you. Um, if you have to describe Scribo in only one word, what would it be? No, it's impossible in one word. Okay, I give you Forgive two. Forgive me. I give you two. <laughs> I, I, I can say I can say passion. Yes. I can say sacrifice, mm -hmm. and I would say also um, commitment. Okay. Three words. Yeah. My good compromise. <laughs> Besides Scribo, do you also have other hobbies and? Do you take inspiration for uh, Scribo items in t from that hobbies? Uh, I take inspiration and I bring inspiration also to my other hobbies. I yes, I have some hobbies. Mm, my I, I would say my best hobby is playing tennis, mm -hmm. and uh, tennis it's 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 a sport you play basically alone I don't like to play double yeah it's too much risky for my <laughs> partner <laughs> so I like to play single matches mm -hmm. and uh, it's a very mental sport I mean the level of con concentration should be very high during your play if, mm -hmm. if you're not well concentrated well pff, it's a disaster yeah. and uh, this is the same when I work around nibs I must be very focused on nib mm -hmm. when I do some grinding or when I try to to, to fix some nibs it, it, it's it's very important you are totally focused on it mm -hmm. and if I, my mind start thinking about something else I would uh, probably make some damage both here than on a tennis court. Mm -hmm. So concentration is really important it's both really in your important. hobby life as in yeah. your professional life. Yeah, and then I'm recently, well, one of the good things that I did during the lockdown that we have due to the virus is uh, that I had time to try learning playing guitar. Okay. So. And? How's I would say going? these are yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. You still have neighbors, or uh... I think in one year I will play in some band, <laughs> so I will lose my job here. <laughs> that would be great. Okay, I'm Your learning. I'm just a beginner. I'm okay. just a beginner. I'm just learning. But it is fun. It's fun. Yeah, that's it's cool. really fun. Um, do you have some persons or maybe a company uh, that's an uh, example for you personally or for the Scribo company? I'm very very attracted by by our competitors okay. in this world. I mean, I look very carefully what they do mm -hmm. and I learn a lot from uh, many companies, maybe some companies more focused on nib, some other on shape, some other on, on, on details. And uh, this is always a big inspiration for us. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I try also I, I, I like also the hearts, mm -hmm. and these also give a lot of inspiration for for our creation, our our products, mm -hmm. uh, just our inks. For example, when we were deciding about uh, which kind of bottle to be used, we 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 found this bottle that is 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 quite strange for this industry, but it is a is a it has it, it comes from food. I saw it in the first time in a very high level restaurant and mm -hmm. it was uh, uh, used for jam yeah. and it, they were stackable uh, yeah. and I mean the artistic way he was presented in, in immediately gave us the inspiration to do okay that could be the bottle something that different we use for something that, yeah so yeah. we try to catch from different mm -hmm. industries and words that's good. Can you describe the process of creating a writing instrument or a fountain pen from uh, scratch? Well, of course, uh, always it starts from an idea that somebody of us has mm -hmm. in some way. And uh, we start making the, the, the one who has the idea, so the lucky one who has the idea, mm -hmm. start making a draft. In my case, I'm really bad. It's very <laughs> difficult then for the designer mm -hmm. to translate my bad sketches into a pen. But uh, 
we start from a sketch, then mm -hmm. uh, it goes on the Flaminia table, on mm -hmm. the on Flaminia desk, and she starts making a, an handmade design with pencil. Mm -hmm. And uh, we try to find the right balance. And once it's okay, we move to the machine, to the computer. Mm -hmm. She she works uh, with a 3D program to make rendering mm -hmm. that then goes into the CAD mm -hmm. computer to make technical drawings. And then we start making sampling, the first part. Uh, sometimes we make sample by using 3D printing machine to mm -hmm. see if our crazy idea was actually <laughs> something that could stay in our hand. <clears throat> and after that, uh, we, we, we go ahead uh, choosing the material, choosing the color. So how many uh, ideas end up at the end consumer or in retail stores and how many end up in a trash bin? No one in a trash bin. Okay. We put in a drawer. Maybe <laughs> yeah. after many years could be in a way reused, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, of course, one on ten, yeah. one on twenty maybe, but uh, a very small portion then becomes true. Yeah. Mm. If you have complete freedom, mm. no limits mm. on money, no limits on material, no limits on anything, what would be your dream pen? If I can take inspiration from your question, and if I have really no limits, yeah, I really would no maybe limits. more invest on the on the filling system mm -hmm. to make something new, inspired by a piston filling, but with something that brings some news in the market, uh, a piston filling that maybe could be more performing and more lasting. I would invest there. Something more than in, unique. Yeah, something that could last mm -hmm. for many years. Yeah. Material are subjected to fashion. You know, maybe you like titanium. I remember many years ago, everybody wants to do a pen in carbon fiber and mm -hmm. everybody did pen in, in carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. Now, no one yeah. wants to make pen in carbon fiber because it's already old yeah, it's done. so yeah i'm sorry i don't have an answer for the material but we would better invest on on something inside the pen than outside mm. the pen something like in a mechanism uh, yeah mm -hmm. yeah from our social media accounts we also got an interesting question okay we picked one of all the questions okay um this question comes from metanius okay um which project uh, that you know of was made with a scribble pen that you thought was really interesting? I would not want to seem trivial mm -hmm. in these, but we recently made uh, uh, a pen that was uh, available on our website only mm -hmm. to support our local hospital mm -hmm. with the fighting. I mean, the, the, the bad situation that we have here and the world is having. So we made this pen in a limited numbers of 52 pieces. They were sold out uh, very soon, actually. Mm -hmm. Thanks to this, we were able to donate a significant amount of money to Fondazione Sant'Orsola here in Bologna mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to fight against the, the, the COVID. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. And uh, beside this, uh, going to less serious thing well I, I I love to work with co-branding when I mm -hmm. can do something that in a way uh, put together our soul Scribo in this case with another brand and and it's it's uh, mm -hmm. we had the same good case history in the past well it's 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 a very nice story to tell mm -hmm. uh, Hopefully next year we will do something in this direction. And uh, yeah, I, I can't tell you more uh, at this moment, but... we just come back next year. Please, you come. <laughs> That's okay. Um, how would you describe the Scribo collector or the Scribo writer compared to, uh, like, say, a collector from a different brand? Mm. Well, it's hard to compare, mm -hmm. uh, probably I don't know enough to compare. I can say that on average, uh, I have noticed that who buy a Scribo 
buy again another scribble, mm -hmm. and then maybe another scribble. Uh, I know at least two people that have already four okay. scribble. Okay, this is just to explain that they who buy scribble normally buy for himself mm -hmm. or for herself, and they want to 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 feel to feel <laughs> the writing really to feel the writing to feel mm -hmm. the experience of writing with our fountain pens and with our me range. So mm -hmm. I would say it's, I it's a important. self. It's a self. Uh, uh, Fulfilling. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a self but, pleasure. Yeah. yeah, but I think that, that the nips are quite important, right? It's the reason. It's the reason of scribble. It's the mm -hmm. reason why of scribble. I think yeah. the nips, our nips, and uh, yes. Nibs is the heart of a fountain pen at the mm -hmm. end of the day, and uh, it is the connection between your hand, the pen, and the paper. Mm -hmm. So it's the final result of what you write yeah. comes from uh, from the nib, and you can put yourself on on the nib you're using, your your behavior, your your stress, uh, your mm -hmm. happiness, uh, your 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 feelings. If the fountain pen world was mirrored in the animal kingdom. What animal would Scribble be? Who? That's a tough question. Wow. A bee, maybe? A bee, yes. Sure. A bee. Yeah. 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 Nice zooming around. Uh, Why is that? Free enough to fly everywhere. Yeah. Small enough. Yeah. We're small. Very small yeah. company. Yeah. But we are hard worker. Like mm -hmm. a bee is true, and uh, yeah, in a way, we have the freedom of a bee. We can uh, we can fly away wherever we want to catch idea mm -hmm. to 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 change I mean, direction. This idea of freedom, yeah, yeah, a nice one. Um, let's move uh, forward and look in the future. Mm -hmm. We live in the in the year two thousand one hundred fifty. Mm. In one hundred fifty years. And uh, somebody opens a drawer and finds a Scribble pen. What will they tell about the brand? What will they say about that Scribble pen? What do you want that the people in the future think like, okay? In my idea, they would say, what is this? Yeah? What is this? It is more or less the same that the young generation, in my opinion, said, Mm, ten years ago, when they opened the drawer of their grandparents and rediscovered the pleasure of a fountain pen. Mm -hmm. We live in a world, in the digital world, but I, I think you can also, I can interview you now. Yeah, you sure. can also share with me, if, if you agree, that uh, in a way we moved from a digital we are moving back to analogic world for something mm -hmm. with young generation that are rediscovering the pleasure of having dirty hands with inks, mm -hmm. making bread with flavor, <laughs> sure. uh, planting ground, I mean, mm, with seeds. Mm -hmm. So we are going back to rediscover the pleasure of uh, analogic toolings and uh, a fountain pen, a writing instrument. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an analogic, it's a mechanical object. Sure. And in uh, 150 years, well, I think more or less would be the same. I think uh, what belongs to our history will be never forget. Okay. We okay. still listen to Beethoven. And I think, I'm not comparing Beethoven with Scrib, of course, but I'm comparing Beethoven to handwriting. Or, yeah, to, 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 to handwriting. Yeah. Classic music to handwriting. Maybe mm -hmm. Scrib or who? It will never disappear. But a fountain pen will, will stay yeah. forever. Let's have a look at the near future. Can you tell us something about, besides this beautiful new color. Yep. Something new coming up? Yes, we, we, we go back to our ideas that we discussed before. Yeah. We, we are planning to introduce a second collection, finally. Mm -hmm. It will be a brand new shape, okay. which will stay beside the field. 
Okay. And uh, what I care about this second collection is why it will be a little different uh, in terms of uh, uh, positioning in the market. Mm -hmm. uh, it will keep having our nibs and our ebonite feeder, which okay. is the heart of our pens, of mm -hmm. our fountain pens. And uh, we are planning on a very special limited edition in co-branding for next year mm -hmm. and uh, many releases of our existing pens will be, will be released uh, in, in, at the beginning of uh, next year. Mm -hmm. I've seen some new good colors. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and well, I hope next year that we will finally reach uh, number three collection. So mm -hmm. the feel, the second that will be introduced soon and a third collection, which we already designed. We like it so much mm -hmm. and we hope to, to be able to introduce this third collection by the end of uh, next year. So a lot of new things coming up. Yes, we, we, we are like bees, yeah. hard workers. <laughs> then that's, good. Then that's good. Luca, thank you so much for having us today, doing this interview, opening your heart, opening your soul, opening your mind for thank us. Thank you. Telling what you think and giving us a small preview of the things that are coming up for next year. And I also have a small gift for you. This Thank you. typical Dutch flavor. Um, Thank you so much. I'm sure that you know it from your time in Amsterdam. It's uh, good to remind. Thank yeah, you. It's something to eat, so uh, please Thank share you. it at Very home. Very appreciate it. With your wife. And, yeah. uh, and well, you, your son is not old enough, but. <laughs> All right. My, I have a daughter too. She is uh, enough to, to yeah, enjoy it. She yeah. can enjoy it. Yeah. She's old enough to enjoy it. Thank and you. As I understood, you also have a small gift for our viewers, or not well, for all of our viewers, but for one lucky viewer. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking this pen could be a good combination mm -hmm. um, for a giveaway, yeah. give to your viewer. This is a pen which is inspired, as we said, by the color of this season, so mm -hmm. hope you like, or she will like it. Wow, this is... Amazing. This is so precious. Wow. So this is the Scribo fuel that I have in my hands right now. And uh, we are allowed to give this away to one lucky winner, one of our viewers. The only thing that you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow Scribo Field the Writing on Instagram, and comment below what you think of the Scribo brand. And uh, in three days after we upload this video, we will announce the winner. Wow, this is really something beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you for and, your time. And uh, well, hopefully we see each other soon. Good. Thank you so much, Yost. <laughs>